hello everyone in this video we're going to be looking at how to transcribe audio recording by using the new feature in microsoft word online this functionality only comes in online version you also need to have access to microsoft 365 if you have access to microsoft 365 already as a student or worker then you are good to go so what you need to do to have access to this um, new feature in Word Online is you have to log into the um, office.com. Once you log into office.com, I'm already logged in. Then you go to where you have all apps. Click on that icon, all apps. And here, this is Word, different um, applications you can have access to. So click on the MS Word online and once you do that you have this um, page once you're at this page by default it's by the home tab so what you need to do is look towards the top right hand corner here you will find the detect so click the more arrow here there are two buttons I'm just gonna describe or explain what the detect does so I'll click on that it doesn't show it didn't pick up here so i go back and click on the tick text as i talk it's gonna take down what i am saying i'm sure you can see that right now once i finish i'll click on that recording part and shut it down or close the recorder okay so i'll just read what i have said right now as i talk it's gonna take down what I am saying I'm sure you can see that right now once I finish I will click on that recording part and shut it down or oh, so this is really cool it takes down exactly what you're saying so that is it for the detect but if it's not correct or it didn't pick up exactly what you said you can just go ahead and edit that little part that uh, you find mistaken so that is it about detect to transcribe i just have to click on the detect more arrow there click on the transcribe button and then it loads by the right hand side there are two buttons here i will have to click on the upload audio file now this button i'm going to illustrate how this works later and here it tells me the kind of files audio files that it can easily transcribe another thing you need to know is that Transcription for now is done only in English language. So I'll click on this button to upload my file. So it brings me here. I'll search for the file, the audio file, click on that and click on open. Once it finished uploading, it loads your audio file onto OneDrive. So if you haven't seen the video on OneDrive, I'm going to put the link up here then the next thing it does is it transcribes mm -hmm. automatically while it's uploading it is busy transcribing your audio file you can see over here this write-ups the tests there it has transcribed the audio file so i'm going to play it and then you will see how that goes hello excuse me yes how can i help you i'm looking for the road james street okay Take the road by your right. Okay, this is really cool because actually I did this myself. I had to change the voice to be able to get this. All right, but the thing I also needed to pick out from here is that it picked up the words correctly from the audio file. All right, so if it's an interview that you have recorded, you need to know whom you have interviewed so you can actually title the speakers here, either speaker one. Um, you click on this to title the speaker here. I can call the speaker one or give it the name of the person whom I had uh, interviewed or spoken with. All right, so I'll click on this and probably call the speaker one. All right, now if I had sometimes it detects the 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 audio files and gives it the name speaker one speaker two speaker three and then if that applies then here i can then tick place a tick on this box and it will change 
change all speaker but right now i can't do that because i just have to you know um detect each speaker one by one so i just click on this and uh, confirm box all right so here you actually called it speaker one speaker one because probably it didn't really detect my voice that much so I'm, on this part i'm gonna go back and call this speaker two and let's see how we could do go about that change all confirm i hope it doesn't change all i didn't place a tick there all right so this is good so i can now go ahead and change this how can i help you this is speaker two speaking or fucking i'm just gonna do that some people would this is really good because some people will encounter this um, stuff challenge you just need to know whom you have spoken to and you know put the name there so this is actually speaker one i'm looking for this should be speaker two so i'll change that to speaker two all right okay so i'm gonna play this again so you see how that goes speaker one speaker two talking that's because i did the recording and i know who is actually talking so starting from i'm looking for the road james street okay take the road by your right okay so this is really cool he got that audio file and he transcribed it very perfectly all right so on the other side sometimes it picks out the speakers like i did say i did it myself changed the voices and probably that is why he wasn't able to pick speaker one speaker two but because i did it i know exactly each speaker so i have titled those or renamed it like that so now if it's an interview it's going to actually pick out those speakers name but for instance if he does it like this and it's not able to pick out like speaker one speaker two because you did the interview you should be able to know who was speaking and then you title that particular voice or the transcript at that point giving it the exact name or as by exact participant that said that um stuff so here i am fine with what i have done here to i can make the steps faster by increasing the speed all right i can increase that speed move this a little bit backward and oh, excuse get... me yes how can i help you okay <laughs> that's me making it a little bit faster anyway that's what that does and i am fine with what i have here i can click on this button here and say add all to document and then it will add all the trans transcribed words into this particular the left hand side the word document or i can do it one at a time look at this button here add section to document okay if i click on that you can see speaker one hello excuse me i can do that one at a time or i can go ahead and add all all of this transcript to the document so i'll click on that all right so once i click on add all that to the document if you look here it also adds the audio file you can see that there and this is the transcript speaker one speaker two speaker two speaker one and all of that this is really good it gives me exactly what i have said all right word for word and that is how it's done back on the main transcribe um pain you will remember i did say i'm going to talk about the start recording button so here we are i'm going to click on the start recording button and it's recording already if you look here it's recording whatever it is i'm saying right now and the good thing about it is that or the difference between this aspect and the other one that i sh i had to upload the audio file is that while it's recording i can come here and take other notes if i'm in the classroom or in a conference i can take other notes while this is recording right and when i finish or when the speaker finishes and uh, talking i can come here click on the save and transcribe or i can pause all right you pause and then you can also resume this is recording and you can also be taking note at this other word document now you can pause you can resume and once i finish i can go ahead click on the pause and then click on save and transcribe 
Now the same thing happens on the first um, part. It's uploading to OneDrive. You can see it over there. And when once it uploads to OneDrive, it's busy transcribing what I have been saying. All right. So the same thing happens in the first section, but on this part, it records in the online word document unlike the other previous one that i demonstrated so now it's finished transcribing you can see that and it detected that it's been speaker one all through so it's been the same voice all through and exactly what it is i have said is what it has transcribed so once if i like what is here i then go ahead and click on the add all to document so it's the same thing all right this is how it works and if you want to continue doing this over and over again and you want to we want to record more stuff you can go ahead and click on the new transcription once you start creating transcription a folder is automatically created on onedrive called transcribed files so in this folder you'll find this document both the uploaded doc file audio file and the one that was recorded in the Microsoft Word online. So this is how it's done. And one more thing that I, I need to let you know is that when you transcribe your document, it is automatically saved onto OneDrive. Okay, so if you don't know how to use OneDrive yet, please click on that link that appears above and full training or full teaching on how to use OneDrive is on that video. Please drop your comments down below and let me know what you think about this new functionality. I think for me, it's really interesting, especially for those uh, postgraduate students, they can easily do transcriptions on this um, platform very easy and quite useful functionality that I find here. Please let me know what you think about it. Don't forget to click on that like button. And if this is your first time coming around this channel, Grafted Technology, kindly click that subscribe button to stay updated for more tech tips like this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.